Oh, well, welcome to Cor Alexandra. Mm. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Been delighted to get over the line, so, so yeah, happy. Obviously, it's been ongoing for a few, day, few days now and mm -hmm. probably a few weeks for you to get your future sorted. Is that a big worry now, away and off your mind? Yeah, it's, yeah it's a weight that's off my shoulders now. Um, had to wait for a very long time. Um, but yeah, timing is very key. I think the season's now about to commence. Um, so we've done enough waiting now. Um, happy to get this done. So yeah, looking forward to, to getting the season going. What have you been doing for fitness? You've been, been working out on your own and, and to get yourself ready? Yeah, yeah, I've been doing my own bits. Um, even went in to do a bit of training with Wigan. Um, played a game as well um, against Bolton. So, so yeah, so I'm feeling fit, feeling physically fit. Um, still obviously 100, not 100%. But, um, but yeah, near enough ready and looking forward to yeah, just getting involved and playing games. And obviously you've had plenty of experience at League One level as well. You know, this is new for a few of the players at, at Crewe. I know it's the cup tie coming first of all, but it's against the League One side in Lincoln mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. What are they going to find? Against Lincoln? Uh, and the League One clubs, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it, it's, it will be like playing a lot of the top end League Two teams. Um, so a lot of teams are well organised. Um, and yeah, they're physically probably a lot better than League Two teams as well. So it's going to be a massive challenge for the boys, massive challenge. Um, but yeah, hopefully they can take the momentum from last season. And they're still a young bunch of lads, and I, I, hopefully that confidence can be enough to, you know, give them the boldness to step out and do some really good things out there. So, so yeah, I, I think it's going to be a challenging season, but one we will look optimistically. Yeah, this, this club is well renowned for development and progressing mm -hmm. players, mm -hmm. you know, ability. Is that something that's attracted you as well, that you think there's still some more to come out from, from Omar Beckles? Yeah, there's definitely more to give. I'm, I'm, I'm a student of the game, I'd like to say, and I feel like it, it, no matter what age I am, I still want to continue to be the best that I can be. Um, so, yeah, I think this is definitely a conducive environment that's going to help me to do that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, 100%. I know you, and the other thing that you bring is versatility. I know you've played at quite a lot of positions across the back, but I guess that centre-half position is the one that really favours you, is it? Yeah, of course, yeah. So I've been, been labelled as the versatile centre-half in recent periods, um, hoping to really try and diminish that, to be honest with you. Um, although it's good to be able to have that in my locker, um, yeah, really just want to be able to have that central focus of this is the main position. Um, and showing everyone what I'm capable of doing in that position. I think you're the fifth signing for the management over the, over the summer. You'll know most of those lads that have come here as well because you would have been around the football circuit with them. The squad looks as though it's as strong as it's ever been. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, that's good to see. It's good to see. I think a lot of teams in this space has been difficult mm -hmm. for them to be able to recruit and get what they need in. Um, but Crews in a, in a different circumstance. It looks like a very well-run club. Um, to be able to still be making five signings in the midst of a pandemic. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's positive signs for the club and, and hopefully a good foundation for this team in this league. A new chapter, a new challenge. Yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Brilliant. Good luck.